Yo guys, what up, Nick Bronwyn here. Today I'm going to be reacting to My Hero Academia Season 1, Episode 10. Last time on My Hero Academia, some creepy guy showed up in the middle of a training session. Uh, it seemed like he had a thing against All Might, maybe? I don't know. Um, we didn't get any lines from him, Some he showed up at the school during the press. Um, after that, the, our future heroes went to a new training camp by, that was held by this hero named 13. And he has a quirk that allows him to create black holes and whatnot. And he looked really weird, but he was really cool, and I liked him. And right after he got done explaining what they're going to do and his a quirk, uh, this weird guy shows up with a bunch of evil dudes backing them up, and shit's going to go down. And I'm hyped for it. My favorite teacher at the school, named his hero name is Eraserhead, he looked like he was about to go in, and I cannot wait. I'm getting hyped. This show keeps on one-upping itself for me, and I am absolutely... Uh, I love it so much. That's all I can say. So, without further ado, let's get into this. My Hero Academia Season 1, Episode 10. There he is. Yep. The only real heroes I see are 13 and a race ahead. Perplexing. According to the schedule we retrieved from you, and all might should be here as well. So you scumbags used the press as a cover and sneaked onto campus. I'll be right back. My uh, I am cold. In case you don't know, I absolutely hate. I absolutely hate the cold, and my air conditioner was on. Sorry. We looked at these villains, and pure evil stared back. Yeah, he's creepy looking. No shit. What? Real villains? No way. How could so many of them get into a UA facility that's secure? Yeah, 13, why are the alarms going off? I'm a question. I'm not sure. Is the entire campus under attack? Or is this their only target? Either way, if the alarm sensors aren't being triggered, then one of these villains must have a corp that's masking their presence here. They carefully chose this isolated facility as an entry point at a time when a class was being taught. Their fools were trespassing here. But they fought this out. Yeah. Whatever their plan, they must have a concrete objective in mind. But what is it? Thirteen, get them out of here and alert the main campus. Actually, if they've got the ability to block our sensors, then they might be jamming our regular communication suit. Kaminari, try using your quirk to contact the school. Yes. What are you gonna do? You can't fight them on your own. There's too many of them. Even if you can nullify their quirks, your fighting style's not suited for this. Your power works best in stealth and one-on-one -on -one fights. It's not gonna help with the group. You can't be a pro if you only have one trick. I'll leave it to you, 13. Well, I wanna see him in action. Let's do this! Oh, 
Holes 13 to control. Oh no, that was the guy. Okay, that was the evil dude. They mean business. Because 
because he's the one and only symbol of peace and justice? Actually, it doesn't matter. Young man, you too can become a hero. Come on, bad boy! Show me that fighting spirit! I don't care what their reasons are. Welcome, young Midoriya. Congrats on getting in. I have to focus. Yo. Yeah. Guy, Todoroki, I think it's his name. Are you embarrassed to lose to a child? For God's sake, you're adult. Put up a real fight. So we're back at the actual school site. Going on here. The alarms aren't sounding. 
telephone, phones, and radios are useless right now. One of these villains must be to blame. Even though Eraserhead is canceling people's quirks left and right, we're still completely sealed off from the outside world. Yeah. Likely whoever is causing this interference hit as soon as they walked into the USJ. It could be anywhere. Impossible to hunt down. It'll be faster for you to run and get help than for us to find whoever's jamming everything. Yes, but it would be disgraceful for me to leave you all behind. No emergency exit. There are lots of alarms outside. That's why they're keeping all of us trapped inside the USJ, right? As long as you can get outside, they won't follow. Blow this stupid miss away with those engine legs. Use your quirk to save others. Be a real hero. Come on, go, Edo. Go, Ida. Bother checking the students' court. Because they didn't know what we could do. Plan to overpower us once we were in smaller groups. Easier to pick us off one by one. We can use that to our advantage. They don't know what our quirks are. So for all they know, the three of us could be super powerful. Look, none of them are trying to climb into the boat. That proves they're a little unsure. But that means they're not going to underestimate us either. They're being smart and playing it safe. For now. Nonetheless. The enemy that's certain of their victory is bound to make a mistake. 
You got a plan, Midoriya? My boy Deku? Was that damn it? That was it. Things are spicing up, and I'm enjoying it. Whew. Too bad I can only film one more after this. The finale for season one will have to wait like another couple days. Which fucking sucks. Ugh. It sucks. But I'm so hyped at the same time. So that was my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 1, Episode 10. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that fun crap. Uh, rate this video 1 through 10. This is Nick Browen. Out with the yay.